Hi, in this video I'm looking at doing the integral of 1 over the square root of 25 minus x squared with respect to x. Now initially this integral looks a little bit more complicated to do, but if you recognize the shape and the pattern of it, this is the function that you get from deriving inverse sine. So we're going to use the fact that the integral of 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared, where a is some number with respect to x, is the inverse sine of x over a plus c. So the derivative of the inverse sine of x minus a is 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared. So if we see a 1 over square root of a number squared minus x squared, then we know it integrates back into sine. So we can apply that to this rule, uh, to this question here. The only thing we need to change is that we have to get a number squared, and we just have a number. So I can rewrite my integrals, the square root of 5 squared minus x squared with respect to x. And then going and applying our rule, this means that we have the inverse sine of x over our number that we squared here, 5. And then all that we need to do as well is just remember to put in our plus c. And that's it. That's all that we have to do. So the integral of 1 on the square root of 25 minus x squared dx is just the inverse sine of x on 5 plus c.